I was just kidding there, ladies and gentlemen. We actually have a special go goose, goose guest uh, this first period intermission. I have with me Mason Plaga, who is sitting out this game due to, uh, are we allowed to say on air? Lower body injury. Lower body injury. Yeah. Okay. So, what's it like watching this game from the stands? Uh, it's a lot different, definitely. Uh, but I think, I think it's good to watch it from here every now and then. Kind of, I don't know, gives you a little different outlook on different players and stuff. You see a lot more and see a lot more that happens. So, I think it's kind of nice. I'm almost taking a little break. Nice. So, how do you feel this game's going for the Dynamiters? Uh, I think it's been good so far. Uh, Nelson's probably up there in the top team in the league. So, it's going to be a close game for sure. But I think we've done well so far in the penalty kill, especially. Yeah, and I believe you were in the you played in the game that was in Nelson at the start of the season. Yeah, you not, and that was an intense game. Yeah, uh, they definitely outplayed us though for the most part, but uh, it was a really close one. We managed to win, I think, two one. You just kind of squeaked out the win there. Yeah, I get the same kind of sense about this game. That's going to be a close mm. one. It should be a close one. Yeah, two pretty good teams. So totally. Yeah. So I, I first want to just address your awesome way that you came into the or joined the Community Dynamiters yeah. at the start of the season, the awesome impression that you made at the start of the season uh -huh. uh, with your three goals and I think two assists in the first game, yep. which was phenomenal. Mm -hmm. uh, what were you going for in that first game? Uh, what kind of message were you trying to send? Uh, I was really looking just to like play my game. I wasn't looking for anything special like that. It just kind of came to me. <laughs> Got good opportunities, I guess. You looked possessed that game. The yeah. It was unreal. Yeah. And it sucks that you're injured, mm -hmm. but that was like, holy mackerel. It was quite the exclamation mark you yeah. sent the fan base when you arrived. So maybe just for those that are watching and maybe they don't know, maybe they do know, uh, how it came about that you came to the Dynamiters? Uh, well, I played my 18 and 19 year old season in Chase, and I really liked it there. I loved it there. And, uh, it was just a little too close to home because it's really, I'm from Kamloops, so it's only 30 minutes. So okay, right. kinda kind of looked to get away, you know. Get away from home. Yeah, get away from home because okay, it's right. pretty, it's really close, right? So <laughs> yeah, and then Kimberly, they win a lot. And I most of all just wanted to win for my last year. I didn't want to go to a team that wasn't as strong. Right, so didn't Chase make it all the way to the finals yep, last year? Yeah, we did. Yeah, we, uh, we made it all the way to the finals and lost to Beaver Valley, ah, which was... So yeah. What was that experience like? Not the losing part, but getting all the way to the KI Finals. Uh, it was actually really cool. We uh, we won our division, but we weren't expected to win our conference by any matter. So. No, you were up against the Soyuz Coyotes. Yeah. And they're kind of a favorite. Year they year are. Out. Yeah, they're and always you good team. Upset them. Yeah. And it, it, and they were close, uh, like seconds left on the uh, scoreboard. I think. Yeah. Game three, we were up 2 nothing in the series, and we tied it up with a second left to send it to overtime, and we won. And then game four, uh, they are up 2-1, and we tied it up with like 0 0.7 seconds left oh to tie goodness. it up. And then we won in overtime, and then we dominated them in game five. Wow. Yeah. That's, yeah, that's just phenomenal. It was crazy. It was now, good. Watching it from this side of the, the KI in the Kootenai Conference, we couldn't believe what we were seeing. Yeah. Because when you hit like refresh on the pitch, oh, there's one second left mm -hmm. in the game. Oh, sorry, this has got it. No, just kidding. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so that that's like quite a like, miraculous run. Yeah, I don't know. It shouldn't have happened once, and it shouldn't have happened even <laughs> twice. So it's crazy. So if the Chase Heat, like you said you wanted to play for a winning team, if the mm -hmm. Chase Heat went all the way to the KI Finals last yep. year, and the winning team, I get the argument of close to home. Mm -hmm. Why Kimberly when Beaver Valley went all the way to the KI? Uh, you know, there's a couple things I looked into. I looked into because I'm going to college here in Cranbrook. Okay. So I definitely wanted to start my uh, second education. So that was a big factor for sure. Right. And then uh, I heard nothing but good things about Derek, which helped. And then one of my old buddies, Tyler Garcia, used to play here for oh, a couple of years. On the bow tie. Yeah. <laughs> I, lived, uh, I lived with him in, uh, or sorry, I played with him in 100 Mile. So I got to know him pretty well. And yeah, he said it's nothing but good things about playing here, so. Awesome. Well, yeah. I'm glad there's a good reputation about this community. Yeah. So you say you're in, going to shift a little bit away from hockey now. You're at college, so College of the Rockies. Okay. Yeah. Uh, so what are you taking there? Uh, I'm taking sciences. Right now I just have my first year English, which I have to take, and first year chemistry. Okay. And then next semester I'm going to do probably three classes. Oh. Yeah. Those are, that's heavy. Yeah. We can add hockey in there. Yeah, it's tough, but. How do you balance it all? 
Ah. Uh, I mean, we practice at, at night, which is really helpful, honestly, because mm -hmm. then I can just take classes whenever during the day and have a lot of time to study. So okay. it's honestly pretty easy to balance it. It's Perfect. not that difficult, yeah. Okay. Uh, so noting, noting that you're taking those sciences courses, what are you hoping to go with your education? Ah, uh, I'm not really too sure. I like how the body works, you know. I've always thought about physio, but I really am not too sure yet. <laughs> it sounds like it's an unknown right now. Yeah, <laughs> for the most part. You're just doing your first year in yeah. courses. Okay, See how it goes. Second year, right? Yeah. Okay. Uh, now, if I remember correctly, this is your last junior year. This is, yeah. Do you have any, I know it's October. Mm -hmm. Do you have any plans for after hockey? Um, I'm probably just going to head right to university in the fall. I'll work in the summer. Not sure where, but yeah. Then I'll just start university and see where that takes me. Are you hoping to play hockey in university? Uh, no, this is it for me. So this is your This career. is it. Yeah. No wonder you came out with an exclamation mark on your first game. Yeah, this is it for me. Okay. So noting that this is it for you, what are your, some of your hopes and dreams for this season? I definitely want to win a championship. That's honestly, that's probably it. Right. Yeah, just want to get a ring. I think a ring would be a real cool thing to have as I grow up and everything. So, yeah, just that's all I really want. It's championship. Championship. Yeah. I mean, you feel the Dynamiters can do it because? Uh, we got really good depth, I think. Like what won Beaver Valley, I think the finals last year was they could roll four lines. And it seems like we can roll four lines against. Mm -hmm. And that's what I think we lost in the finals last year because we could only roll two, three lines. So. And the Dynamiters forced Beaver Valley all the way to... Yeah. Game four. Game or game five. Five, sorry, yeah. Of the best of five. And if I can just add something here, mm -hmm. just advocate for how awesome the Dynamo yeah. are, and I think you made a good choice, is Beaver Valley won gold at the Cyclone Taylor Cup. Yeah. And we lost to them in game five. Yeah. And then we beat out the host, Crescent Valley Thundercats, mm -hmm. who play, earned bronze. Yeah. So it kind of tells you where the Dynamiters exactly. are at. Yeah. So I think you made a good choice. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> I don't know if you thought it through uh -huh. like that, but that was yeah. me. <laughs> and I also heard it was supposed to be a rebuild year, so I assume that the next year would be a lot better than... Yeah, it was supposed to be a rebuild year. Yeah. First year under uh, Coach Derek Stewart. Yeah. <laughs> that's what he produced, so we're... You can imagine the expectations are high this year. Yeah. So with that, Kimberly has a little bit more fan attendance than some other places. For sure. Is there some pressures that come with that? Or? Uh, honestly, no, not really. I, I really enjoy it. It just, you get more into the game. It's louder. It's just better atmosphere. Yeah. It's, yeah. It's great. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, I'm just thinking... I feel like that was all I want to ask you. Is there anyone that you want to say hi to that may be watching? I know it's parent weekend. But uh, I would, but my parents are just over there. so. Well, we will be posting this video up on YouTube afterwards, so maybe if you want to still say hi to them. <laughs> uh, they're probably watching me right now, I bet. Yeah, you can probably see them staring at me. <laughs> <laughs> they're going to ask you about this. Outfit. Yeah, probably. Is there anything you want to add that I didn't ask? Uh, no, I think that's everything. Okay, yeah. awesome. Well, thank you for taking time yeah, to my come pleasure. visit us here. Mm -hmm. And uh, good luck and hope you heal quickly so you can get back in the lineup. Sounds good. Okay. Thanks. Everyone, this was Mason Plaga joining us in the booth. We'll see you when the second starts.